you have all gone to websites that allow you to log in with an existing account. It might be your Google identity, it might be your Mac identity, it might be your Microsoft identity. Google gives you this great feature inside your account to check what websites you've logged into and potentially clean those up. App access audit. So this one's important if you're using any kind of online account where you're using that account for multiple logins or what's called single sign-on. Now, you have all gone to websites that allow you to log in with an existing account. It might be your Google identity, it might be your Mac identity, it might be your Microsoft identity. Google gives you this great feature inside your account to check what websites you've logged into and potentially clean those up. So you can see on the security tab here, I'll just go down to, here we go, connections to third-party apps. That's what you wanna look for. So Google account, security menu, and then connections to third-party apps. And periodically, you wanna check which apps have access to your account here. So you can see I've logged into Canva, I've logged into Dialpad, I've logged into InSync, I've logged into Loom. I'm using these accounts, but they're effectively connected to my Google account. Now, large organizations like OpenAI, Loom, Dialpad, probably pretty safe. Very unlikely that they're going to have a security incident. It's certainly possible, but very unlikely that it would be widespread enough to infiltrate your Google account. But what about something like Power Tools, which is a Google spreadsheet plugin? What about something like this little script here to set up some you know, ad group automations? If a small time developer has developed an app and you've made use of that app, it might be useful at the time, but three months later, six months later, 12 months later, sometimes someone like Google might build that feature into their application. We were all using Dropbox many, many years ago, and then Google created Google Drive, and we stopped using Dropbox. But what can happen is in this menu, some of these apps you may not have used for months or even years, and they can linger. And the problem with that is particularly when they're built by small independent developers, they can be left to languish, and then security vulnerabilities can potentially be discovered. And the problem with this is that some of these may have, through Google's you know, APIs and through the connection, they may have access to the data inside your Google Drive, as an example. What would a third-party actor do if they wanted to exploit that? Well, they'd immediately run a command using this authentication that you have granted and ask your Google Drive to download every single file, every single folder. That's where your client information, your personal information, the finance application that you made for equipment finance could be potentially be exposed to someone outside your business. So it's a good idea from time to time, once every couple of months, jump in here, remove any apps that you're no longer using or you know maybe that you use just on a one-time basis and clean these up. Pretty straightforward. You click into the account and then you click the remove button. Delete all connections that you have and that will stop all the access. Someone asked, where do I find that? So we go to our Google account. You click on your profile photo. Click on your profile photo. You go to your Google account. It's under security. And then connections to third-party apps and services. There we go. Good one to go clean up just to make sure there's no one untoward in there. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.